Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can set up an API using Janitor AI. First of all, head over to Janitor AI. Over here, you're going to log in or register. I'm going to register into a new account. Continue with Google or Discord. Once you're done, you're going to head over to the top right and click this icon. Over here, head over to my characters. Before you head here, make sure you actually have a character. In case you don't, you can hit create a character. Upload an avatar image for it. Choose the gender of your character. Choose the type of bot it is, a public or a private bot. Change the rating of it, either limited or limitless. Choose the character definition. Choose the scenario. Add some example dialogues. After that, upload an image for your avatar. And once, once that's done, pull all the way down and hit create character. Now you can either chat with this, but we're going to set up the API for this. So for that, you're going to head over to the top right again, hit my characters. And now that you finally have a character, click on it hit chat with it and after that wait for it to load then on the top right you'll see it says api not ready to set it up you're going to click this choose the api that you want to use we're using open ai select open ai model select access open ai api key if you have your own key you can use this or you can use re reverse proxy for your own API key, you are going to head over to openai.com, click on it, log in, just wait for this to load, continue with your Google account, and once that's done, select API. Now you're going to head over to the top right, head over to personal or view API keys. Over here, you'll see your API key. You're just going to hit create new secret key. Wait for it to create you a key. And then once that's done, hit copy and then click done. After that, you're going to head over to Janitor AI again. Over here, hit open AI key and paste it over here. Hit check API key and just wait for it to check. Once that's done, uh, add your custom prompt. You can also choose a preset down here, for example, default. And then hit save settings. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.